I'm almost out of hot chocolate. What? Oh, Lord have mercy. What do you mean she's not available? Yes, she is. She's not doing anything. Yeah, quick to leave her off in the ashtray. Make a nigga mama have a bad day. I don't get a fuck. This shit gonna be real bad for you, man. Frank Carla, it's a little commission. Y'all ain't joy. A lot of y'all been asking me this one question. 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 Y'all been asking me this Life is just a mess right now. Just gotta see it though. If you had a twin, I would still choose you. I don't wanna rush into it if it's too soon, but I know you need to get done, 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 done. If you come on, yeah. Sorry if I'm way less friendly. I got niggas trying to hear me. Oh, yeah. I spilled all my emotions tonight. I'm sorry. Rolling, 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 rolling. Girl, I supposed to bend up out the bed. Let's talk about it. Uh-uh. I supposed to have woke up at seven. <sighs> I be tired and shit with this big ass bonnet. Good morning. God woke me up. And if you watching this, God woke you up too. Pro. Let me get up in here and take dinner out because he he will bully you every morning until you do it. <laughs> we got a little, we got a couple things to do today. Not a lot. But we got some more stuff to do today. But we got to get up and make my hot chocolate. It's so rainy outside. Don't worry about them two dead flies right there. They should never play with me. I don't know why they was in here. I caught their ass right on the window. <laughs> Y'all, let's get up. Cause the more I see here, the more the time is just flying. And I gotta be somewhere at 10. I'm about to make some hot chocolate. <laughs> This counter needs to be wiped off. One thing about having white counters, they always look dirty and you have to wipe them off every five seconds. He just gave me some black counters or something. I always regret buying a small milk, but the big milk that I, the big carton or gallon, it always end up going bad. And then I'd be like, okay, I didn't use the big one last time, so I'm gonna get a small one. And then as soon as I get the small one, I use it up like crazy. Like what the fuck? Like what? Say good morning, I still got on my Christmas pajamas. Say hi. Now. Tell them hi. <gasps> I'm almost out of hot chocolate. What? Mm-hmm. That's it right there. What am I doing? We're going to go outside. I'm going to teach you young hoes how to make some hot chocolate one. I need my phone. Hold on, Baba. Hold on. Let my mom get her phone. I'm about to go on the balcony, check my emails, and read my Bible devotion. Yeah. Stop. But you make me drop a little boy. Look at him tearing up his bed. Ain't he terrible? This is not for you. This is chocolate. I promise you, you don't want this. You're going to be at the vet crying and throwing up at the same time. Stop dinner. If you, I'm not playing with you. It's rainy outside. Okay, so boom. It's 9.02. I gotta leave the house at 9.45. I gotta be somewhere at 10. What am I doing? I'm about to do my makeup really, really quick. While my eyebrows is drying, I'm gonna find me some clothes for the most high task up in here. I 
I gotta hurry up. I'm right. Well, I should've got my ass up. It fucked me steady. Cause I take too long. Let me find some clothes. Mary! I've proven to myself. Time after time after time that I cannot get ready in 15 minutes. And I just keep setting myself up. This has been proven so many times. And I still gotta do my hair. <gasps> what time is it? Then what's the time? Three minutes. Oh hell no. Nah. Okay, what time is it? 9.34. Do not play me. I was supposed to leave at the house at 9.45. I skip a couple makeup steps, but so what you can't hear? Oh, I need to find my other earring. Hold on. Yeah, did that, baby. Okay, let's get about here because it don't be no fucking parking where I'm going. And I'm gonna explain to y'all later where the hell I'm even going. I couldn't record in the car because I was rushing, and it's loud out here. Hold on. But yeah, I'm leaving, and I'm gonna be on my way back home. I was rushing, but I made it here on time. You see what I'm saying? I get shit done. But I'm so excited to share to y'all like the good news of like, <gasps> I don't even want y'all seeing the place. Don't look, beach. It's a surprise. Mommy answer. What do you mean she's not available? Yes, she is. She's not doing anything. She's calling back. Oh, so we don't answer the phone now. No, I was on the phone. I don't know. I mean, we we need two weeks, which puts which puts you in. Y'all are gonna cook with me, okay? Today we're gonna make quesadillas. My shirt wet because I was up here washing these sheets and I was cleaning the kitchen, making sure it was nice and clean for y'all, okay? You're gonna really need <laughs> Just act like y'all don't know how to make them. Shut up. It makes me feel better knowing that I feel like I'm teaching y'all something. But so this is a really, really basic quesadilla. It's just gonna be the meat, the cheese, and the tortilla, okay? You're gonna need one of these and you're gonna need a skillet. Mine's ate up or whatever, but you're gonna need a skillet to fry your meat. We're gonna start with the meat first because the meat take the longest. So, okay, what I was saying? I forgot what I was saying. Oh, so, this is the chicken we're gonna be using, okay? It's like, you can get this at Walmart. This will look like it's some um, fajitas. Fajita chicken breast strips, yeah. You could air fry it, you could bake it, you could microwave it. We're gonna do it in the skillet. I don't know why my bag beat up like this. We're gonna put some oil up in here, just a little bit. And then you're gonna put some butter. You don't want no dry ass fajita chicken strips. So you're gonna put you some butter in there. Turn it out on. I think I'm gonna make two, let me see. Let me see. Put some of my butter in there. We're gonna come back when this pop, when this sizzling. Like when they be bringing this shit out at Applebee's. I turned the wrong eye on. <laughs> To leave a op in the ashtray, make a nigga mama have a bad day. Going back and forth on deal. Hey, hey, fuck my eyes, stay hoes. Why that's doing that? You gotta get your um tortillas ready. Put some butter on there. These fajitas over here burning. Okay, hold on. My bad, y'all. This the kind I got. I don't think it matters. Well, you gotta do one at a time. 
Would y'all cheese on that? I think I did it wrong. Okay, so that's the magnitude of the tortilla that you're looking for. Okay, 10 out of 10. <laughs> I be cooking, y'all don't be believing me. Y'all, I'm getting better. Like, y'all don't be trying to hear me out. And I'm about to go watch a Tubi movie. Well, I finished, I mean, I started this one Tubi movie. I'm gonna tell y'all what it's called. I just never finished it. I fell asleep on it. It's called All About a Jig. To administration to give you to the end of the week. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. But we are all together. Mm -hmm. We are all together. Mm -hmm. I don't give a fuck. This shit gonna be real bad for you, man. What's up, guys? So we want to run to Dunkin' Donuts real quick, and when we come back, we're gonna do girl talk, okay? You wanna do girl talk? You down for girl talk? Okay, okay, okay. It's raining outside, so you know, we gotta go on the drip. I'm the only person that will pull up the ducket on it at nighttime. Like, what the f <laughs> Don't play with me, you know what I'm here for. You got more coffee for me. Bye dinner. Hey, you ain't just me. You ain't got shit to say to these niggas. Yeah. Oh, it ain't even raining no more. <laughs> well, my skin look good. Up close, it's a mess. I tried to clean my seats the other day with something and it made it fucking worse. It made it fucking worse. Like, I bought something from Walmart that's supposed to make the seats. Girl. It made these motherfuckers work. And honestly, I don't appreciate the false advertisement. OxyClean. I'm finna get this iced coffee and be up like a motherfucker of Perkins at 30. Oh, I should've let dinner roll with me. I just don't be having time for all day. Right now, he need a bath. His pH balance is really unbalanced right now because he can't go a week without a bath. Like, one thing about them dogs with all that fair, they be funky. Oh, we only got 12 miles. To make it to Dunkin' Donuts. Oh my goodness, Lord Jesus. What the fuck? I'm an old bitch, she on some old shit. Think her name was Christian, and she said she miss her old dick. Oh shit. Why you can't feel like I eat? I got a name on my phone on the wall. Pussy so clean on my eat. Getting on the highway with 12 miles is crazy, right? <laughs> Lord Jesus, you love me, and I know you're gonna allow me to get there. So I enjoy. If I call her, it's a little commission, y'all enjoy. Yeah. Come on, I'm finna run out of gas, baby. You gotta come on. You want a receipt? Uh, no, it's okay. Y'all yeah, got to hand it to me now. We at eight now. <sighs> Do y'all think we can make it home without stopping at the gas station? I'm gonna I'm challenge myself. <sighs> Okay, I think we can do it, y'all. I think we can do it. I can do it. It's the fate. It's the guess. It's right here. I'm not stopping, though. No, I'm not stopping. But you know I can't have whoever has seen. Feel like I'm dying, but I was not living. Time, girl. Baby, I'm tripping. You gotta be all in. You gotta listen. You gonna be my treasure. I told the girlies to drop some girl talk topics because I was going to answer them. But I was gonna do a separate video. This has been a really requested video, but I ain't been doing it because I don't know. But I'm like, I'm gonna do it today. And it's been one specific reason I've been wanting to do this video because a lot of y'all been asking me this one question how to become a hair influencer. And I'm gonna tell y'all because I'm tired of y'all asking me. Y'all want the answer. And I'm gonna give it to y'all. I'm gonna answer that one, you know, later on, just say so. Let's get into the first, let's get into the first one. Okay, so first up, the biggest lesson you've learned this year. So I would say my biggest lesson I learned this year was, it's been a year. And the only reason it's been a year is because I let a guy when I say drag me through the mud this in t for like six months straight, that's half a year. For like six months straight, I let somebody ruin my life. So, 
my biggest lesson this year is know your worth or let somebody else determine it and if you let somebody else determine it they're going to they're going to show you something okay um keep god first you know if you're trying to do life without god good luck charlie but yeah that's my biggest lesson is know your worth so nobody else can determine it. If you already know your worth, how you gonna let somebody else come to you with a different price? You know what I'm saying? Know your worth, so you won't let nobody else determine it. And I let somebody determine my worth for a really long time, and I ended up nowhere this year, y'all. <laughs> like, you come out with nothing. Know your fucking worth, or somebody else gonna put a tag on you. And your shit just might be a dollar. Okay, I'm priceless, bitch. But next year, I'm gonna make it a lot harder for you niggas. I just want y'all to know that. Uh-uh, no get scared now, baby. Cause when I didn't know my worth, y'all was sitting up here marking me $5 and shit. No, 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 don't get scared now. Next year, you niggas don't stand a chin. Okay. That was just one of my lessons that I learned. Um, Stop settling. Once you witness, once something is not you, not your cup of tea, it's okay to get the fuck on. It's not a crime to get the fuck on. Relationship advice. Y'all, y'all know me. I am, I don't have no good relationship under my belt. Baby, I don't have a, I don't be knowing, like, I can't even tell y'all because that would be the blind leading the blind, like. <laughs> I don't know, y'all. I, I, I really don't know, like. I don't, I don't have that many, I don't have good relationships. Like, all I can do is just repeat the last stuff that I just told y'all. Relationship advice, don't settle. Um, take the red flags, do not paint over them. If it's red, do not pull out your green paint and paint over the red. If it's a red flag, don't paint over people's colors. It's red. Take the red flags for what they is. That person is showing you who they is. It's not a joke, it's not a drill. This is who the fuck this person is. And if they showing you fucked up traits, they're fucked up. It's not a jokey joke, it's not a jokey joke. Know your worth in the relationship before even getting into the relationship. Know who you are and make sure you love yourself first because if you love you, you're not gonna put up with no bullshit. You're gonna quickly take flight. Love yourself first so you can be able to love in a relationship. You come into the relationship full of insecurities, that's gonna be a quick relationship. Y'all gonna end it before y'all start it. And that's just pretty much that. Um, making new friends, making new female friends. I'm not a good friend maker, but I've been making some friends lately. A lot of them are in my apartment complex. Shout out to the girlies that stay in my apartment complex that you watch on my YouTube channel. Y'all, like, it's a girl that, that um, came across my video. And she was like, you stay. You know, you stay in my complex. And I'm like, what? So it's people that watch me that I don't even know that stay in my apartment complex. Shout out to the girls because all of the girls that stay here are fine, bro. They bad. Bad to the bone. I'm like, okay, my apartment complex got all the bad bitches. Honestly, I let people come to me because I'm not a really open person. I'm not going to like, I'm getting better at it. I'm not going to sit next to somebody I don't know and create conversation with them. But I made some friends in Texas that I'm really shocked. Because like, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm really shocked that I made the, the, the amount of friends that I have now. I think I have like, I think I have like five friends here in Texas. Five girlfriends. I don't, I have a boyfriend too. Not, not like that, but like a boyfriend. I think I got like six friends in Texas. But for me to only been here three months, not even three months yet, two months and some days, six friends is a lot. And I made them all after I moved here. So I'm doing better. Don't get me wrong. I'm doing better. But honestly, all six of those friends created conversation with me first. And then... They found out that I'm cool as fuck, and so we just been chatting, but I don't talk to them a lot because like I said, I'm the distant friend, so. No, I made seven friends. I forgot about this other girl. But anyways, source of income. Girl, what the hell you talking about? Who asked this? What you mean, girl? 
he's asking me what's my source of income what's some boundaries to set if you don't want a relationship but just want to talk first you gotta let them know that you know i'm just kicking in i'm just cooling in i'm just living life right now first set the boundary verbally with them and let them know that you're not with that you're not with all of that boundaries just make sure you don't let them do things that's misleading let them know what it is so they can know how to move with you you know so you won't be misleading don't ever mislead nobody i, I ain't gonna lie i mislead people a lot because i don't know how to verbally use my mouth and tell somebody what it is i don't know how to that's one of the things that i'm praying and i'm working on because i can mislead people on accident <laughs> because I don't want to open my mouth and crush them. So I just like, you know, I'm working on it. But verbally tell them. I just got this coffee on my couch. Ah! Oh my God. How to properly heal from a relationship. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. First of all, don't ask no bitch like me that question. <laughs> I guess this is girl talk, so I gotta pull out some type of answer. Um, uh, I'm really bad at this shit. <laughs> I'm really, 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 really bad at healing. Okay, I, don't, I feel like I don't heal in the right ways, but I just found a way that I feel like helps. Um, God, that's the only person. I handle breakups and relationships and departure. I handle departure so bad, y'all. So bad. Like, I, be, I do everything but die. So healing to me, I just straight up need God because... I take that shit really unhealthy. Drinking, don't take it away. Smoking, don't take it away. Having intercourse with somebody else, don't take it away. You're going to need God, babe. Meditating is cool. You got to pray, girl. And sometimes God is not going to answer you when you first ask him to heal you. Sometimes God is going to use your pain for good. And I feel like that's what it was with me, like... I feel like he used my pain. Like, I've been hurting for like two years. It'll be three years next year if this shit don't stop. <laughs> God, take it away, please. Like, I'm still healing. Because healing, when you even when you ask, ask God for healing, healing still doesn't show up tomorrow at your front door. It don't. And also, don't touch the stove. One thing about me, I'll pray to God. Like, God, take it away. It hurts. And I still touch the stove, and I touch the stove, and I touch the stove, and I get burnt over and over again. And so I'm starting my healing process over and over and over again. Pray. And don't touch the stove. It gets better when you... It gets better with time when you don't touch the stove, when you don't go back. Once you keep going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth, you're getting yourself in a deeper hole. you just digging a deeper hole to get out of. Y'all keep sleeping around and y'all depart from each other again and then y'all meet come around again follow each other on instagram again and then and it's just this repeated cycle and you digging yourself a hole don't touch the stove and you gonna be all right it's not gonna be as bad it's only gonna be as bad when you keep touching the stove and i'm talking i'm saying he gonna keep showing you over and over that y'all can't be together and that's you getting burnt over and over and over and over again. And that's what makes it so hard to heal. Look at me, two years later, still trying to stop messing with somebody, but I kept touching the stove. I could have been healed from this person a long time ago, but I was making it worse on myself by keep being hopeful. Oh, it's gonna work out, it's gonna work out. He showed you five times ago that it wasn't gonna work out. <laughs> Don't touch the stove and you gonna be all right. <sighs> Mental healing, woo! Y'all keep asking me these type of questions like I'm Ayana fixing my life. <laughs> I'm 
over here drowning right on with y'all. But I can't answer that. Some of these questions I'm not gonna give y'all advice on simply because I can't give you advice on something that I'm not fully educated on. I'm sorry. But once I find out, I'm gonna tell y'all. Finding yourself. Um, I used to be in an identity crisis. Like I didn't know who the fuck I was. And then I found myself because I stopped giving a fuck about how people felt about my original character. Once I stopped giving a fuck about what somebody thought about my personality, that's when I found myself. Now I don't crave to be nobody else but Ava. I don't care what nobody else got going on but Ava. You know what I'm saying? It feels good to be like this because I don't care who I'm around, what room I'm in, I'm gonna be me because I know who I am. It was I found myself so and I'm comfortable in myself so be yourself don't give a fuck what nobody got to say about you you gonna find yourself once you let go of all fucks you find yourself boys versus men men pay for everything boys make you split shit I know when I'm around a man like when I'm with a man I don't want to disrespect him I don't want to argue with him because when he around me, I just feel his aura like not to play with him. A boy, I know when I'm around a boy. Because once, once I'm ready to call you a bitch. And once I'm ready to have an attitude with you with no problem. You was a boy to me. You was not no man. And I'm never going to respect you. If I don't respect you, you a boy to me. I don't disrespect me. I'm very submissive when it comes to a man. Moving on. Girl, you just got to move on. Girl, I'm trying to do that right now. Moving on, you just got to stop fucking with the person. Stop giving them a chance and stop being hopeful for the situation. Let that shit go like Elsa. Um, living alone, paying bills, saving money. It's hard to save money when you can't bills, but you can't even save two dollars. Living alone is cool, it's just lonely. That's why I got a dog. Paying bills is lame as fuck. I'm ready for a sugar daddy to take over all this shit. <laughs> How to get over a breakup. Take time and pray and don't ever fuck with the person again. Stand your ground and if it's up, it's stuck. Don't keep going back on your words like a weak bitch. Hygiene tips and tricks and secrets. Um, wash your ass. Wash it real good. <laughs> I don't do nothing special hygiene wise. Deodorant, lotion, floss, wash ass. Jealous friends. Leave them holes right where they weird at. Okay, leave them right where they weird at. Trying to grow up and figure out your way in your 20s. Your 20s, I thought, I ain't gonna lie. I thought my 20s was gonna be so bad. Y'all, I remember last year in February, I was crying. Because I was like 19 at the time. And I was crying. I was in Houston because I was on vacation. At the time, I was like a little broke 19 year old. I haven't entered my 20s yet. I was literally in Houston in my hotel room last year crying because I'm like, 19 is fucking hard. And, and I was crying to that song by SZA. It's called 20 something. I was so dramatic. <laughs> I was just playing 20 something by SZA and I was just crying. Cause I'm like, bro, this is my last year being a teenager. Next year is fucking on, like, and I was, I got anxiety. I just started crying because I'm like, and I was drunk too. I'm like, oh my god, my twenties is about to be so fucking hard, and that's not the case. I'm one year into my twenties, and I can say I'm on my second apartment. I'm on my second car. I'm financially okay. Like, ain't nothing really, really kicking my ass to the point where like, life is being unbearable. Like. 20s is kind of cool once you keep God in your life, but your 20s is cool. Just like, and I, I can't even say I was prepared for this. Like I just said, I was 19 and I was broke. I wasn't prepared for my 20s. I, you know, I didn't really do nothing to prep for me. It ain't nothing you could do to prep for me. You just got to dive in and swim. <laughs> just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. You're going to go under sometimes, but it ain't going to be for long. Stay with your parents as long as possible. And, and find God in your 20s. It'll make your 20s a lot easier, okay? Because 20s ain't nothing to play with, baby. 20s is ready for whatever. I'm only 21, so I ain't really gonna speak on my 20s. I got many more years to go. How many more years to go? I think I got nine more years to go. I feel like my 20s is gonna be amazing. I'm gonna cry when I'm at the end because bitch, 30 is wild. Niggas. We not speaking on no niggas, girl. Fuck that. 
self-care relationship advice and healing i think i covered that fake friends fuck up. your favorite makeup product so far um i am um a morphe whore i love morphe i love Too Faced. zodiac signs which one is a no-no i think sags are a no-no in pisces wig and cancers but i love pisces I love them. Relationship hygiene. What? Relationship hygiene. Girl, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, Yo, man, must be. I don't know what you mean. Relationship hygiene. Oh, maybe speak on relationships and hygiene. I think we covered that. What's considered being a hoe for us females? Handing that cow like a handshake. You gotta buy yourself in some kind of way. Um, how to deal with seasonal depression. Go to Dunkin' Donuts. It's the cure to depression right in this um, plastic cup. Right in that plastic cup. How do you feel about girls being delusional over men? <laughs> it depends on like, I don't know, like that's a form of manifestation. So it's like, make your own reality up so you can attract what you want, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna answer the last one that y'all been really wanting to know the answer to. How to become a wig influencer, so y'all? Y'all been sending me emails. I ain't been ignoring it. I just knew I was gonna answer it in a girl talk. How to become a wig influencer. First of all, you gotta get you a pimp. Once you get you a pimp, you have to do everything that he says. Let me stop. <laughs> Cause I just had some of y'all write that down. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Scratch it out, scratch it out. I was just playing. Whew, that caffeine got me turned up. What the hell you taking here, Ryan? <laughs> you have to build your platform up first. You gotta find out which platform you gonna build. Some people do Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. Some people do all three of them. Some people have a big audience on all three platforms. My big audience is TikTok and YouTube. I feel like TikTok is the easiest app to get your shit up on. You just gotta be consistent and it's gonna happen. This is just a tip you can do. You can buy your own wigs and record yourself putting them on as if it's a brand deal. You know, just give out some free promos, say what the wig is, put it on, and eat down. Be okay with starting off small. Be okay with doing it for free. I had to do it for free for like, yeah, and people still hit me up for free now. Like, <laughs> they still be like, hey, can you put this on free? What the fuck, girl, we in a recession. Back the fuck. In the beginning, be okay with doing some of these stuff for free. Cause look at it like, okay, I'm gonna have my hair done and I got a free wig. So you can get the experience. Once you accept the free work, that helps you build up to getting paid. Because then other hair companies gonna see that you're experienced. Oh, she get a lot of wigs. She got a lot of promos, you know? So just be okay with doing it for free until you build up more audience and then you can start charging because uh-uh like a lot of people gonna see this i'm not gonna do this for 50 dollars no more i hope i'm making sense because i honestly it just came natural to me like i wanted to be a wig influencer but i wasn't hard up on it because i started off being an influencer with clothes lovely wholesale was my very first collaboration that ever gave me a chance. Shout out to Lovely Hostel with the baggy ass clothes from China. I fuck with y'all. So, good luck to everybody who's gonna be a wig influencer. Pray about it, it'll all come to pass. You gotta be patient and work on your craft and build your platform. And that money ain't gonna come rolling in, boo. Jen, wait on it. <laughs> but y'all, this is it for the girl talk. I'm tired of talking. I'm gonna go watch a soup movie. Toodles! Toodaloo! And for the person that asked me when I was gonna get a um a TV in my living room, will you send it, bitch? I appreciate it so much. You worry about when I'm gonna get a TV. You are enough! And if dinner don't get the fuck out of my bed, he's gonna get sent to Jaira. Yeah, you wanna meet Jaira? Get out of my bed! Five, four. Anyways.
freaking lost his mind is more every time i cut on the camera he loses his mind for a split second by the way me and this pink bonnet go together really bad we're married it's the last third sunday of the month i don't know if that makes sense but it's the last third third sunday <laughs> It's the last third Sunday of the month. And honestly, I'm ready to get up and get started getting my life together. Every December, here we go. Yeah, here we go. I'm ready to get my life together. I know. Yes, here I go. Mm -hmm. I'm one of those. I should post a picture of the girl stepping into another year. The, the pregnant girl, like every year is something with her. Yeah, I'm on that. We're about to get up and Sunday reset. Um, I'm about to clean up, wash my sheets. They need to be washed. My whole comforter, like the pillowcases, everything needs to be washed. I've I've been slipping up. I I've been slipping up, falling asleep with my makeup on. So it's concealer everywhere. Whatever. I'm gonna try and wash some towels. I don't have no towels to dry off with. Like what the fuck? But I don't have that much washing powder, and I'm really not trying to go to the store. So we'll see how far we get with laundry today. Um, I need to straighten up my kitchen. It's plates of hamburger helper on my islander right now. That's dried up. We need to wash these dishes. They to the goddamn sky. I know why. Because I haven't been eating out. Give me, get, pat me on the motherfucker back. Pat me on the back or something, and give me and cash at me two dollars because I ain't been eating out. Like I, I've been in the house cooking on some webby shit. You be cooking, it, cleaning, it, cleaning, it, cook. I've been cooking. I've been a wife. I've been a wife lately to denim. And why he loved me so much, he been behaving himself because I've been over here being a wife to them. He been getting some. You know, I had to apologize for that spaghetti in the last vlog, but you know, he back fucking with me on the food and shit. Probably straight up my closet and straight up my bathroom. I don't know. I'm probably, y'all know me. I like to clean half the house. I'm probably not getting to all that today. And that's fine. You know, and shit. Tell him good afternoon. Oh my God, he just looked y'all up and down. Oh my God, he hates y'all. Why do you act like that? Stop playing, stop playing. I gotta wash some of this shit with my goddamn hands because this is ridiculous. One thing it takes is they can promote their business. Why is this in the crack of my door? Hold on, it might be something good. Let me see. Oh, hold on, I'm trying to say. Ooh. Hold on, do they do delivery? This is the other one I got last Sunday. This one Chinese food. I don't really want to mess with that. But I'm gonna keep it though, just in case. Charles, 
Your lunch is ready. <laughs> oh. Better watch his mouth. Call me no bitch. Cause I'm, 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 ah, damn, don't stalk me. Anyway. Good morning. I hate when I'm not in the fucking mood. Like, ooh, it makes me so mad. Because I still gotta come on camera, but I don't I don't want y'all to sit down. But y'all be making me happy now. <laughs> What's up, y'all? What's up? What's up? Ava just been like not fucking feeling it. You know what I'm saying? Just not fucking feeling it. But no, I'm trying to figure out what to do. How, what do you do with old suppresses? Especially old crusty ass. Super, it's so much goddamn crust. But like, I'm gonna quit fucking with that got to be because why is it snowing? I get it's December. My man made a fence to today. That goes my relationship. <laughs> Life is just a mess right now. Can we be honest? Life is just weird. Why would you make a fence to bitch? You wanna cheat on me? The snowflakes all on my lashes. So I want to come up on camera. I just wanted to come on and say hi. I just wanted to come on and talk to y'all because I had the urge to talk to y'all. But um, I'm gonna come back on camera later on tonight and go to the gym. I think that's all I'm gonna do today. Where's my phone at? I think that's all I gotta do today. Hold on. This is a start. It's so hard to do a new habit. So when I get a real fan, I ain't gonna play you no mind when I get real fan. The devil don't want me to be a bad bitch. So, he's trying to make me make this a big deal. Like, I don't wanna go to the gym. In 2024, I'm gonna get that ass that I want and that's just the end of it. Okay, I'm gonna have the fat ass butt. It's gonna be able with the fat ass butt and that's just what it is. You gotta start somewhere. So, <laughs> I'm gonna get my fat ass up. I warm up on a treadmill. And I ain't bring my AirPods in here because. Baby, nah. Hell nah. It's already at 11 o'clock. What time is it? Almost 11 39, almost 12 o'clock midnight. Ain't nobody finna come up in here on me. Nah. They not finna come in here on me. The lights keep turning off and they be like dark as fuck in here. So if this is what I gotta deal with at nighttime, I won't be coming here at nighttime because that be scaring the shit out of me. The first time it happened, I almost flipped the fuck out because I thought somebody was doing it. I'm like, who the fuck turning off the light? <laughs> Y'all always thinking somebody doing something. But it was just the sensor, like it's on the timer. Like, mm mm, I won't be here at nighttime if we got a timer on this shit. They just need the, they just need a light switch in here. What the fuck y'all trying to save on a light deal for? Girl, I almost twisted the an ankle off trying to get off this treadmill and go go find the sensor. So I'm like, wait, somebody's pulling up. No, go home. I'm in here vibing. Do not come in here. I'm gonna leave if somebody coming in. I gotta find a better time to come here because honestly, I'm too spooked out at 12 o'clock midnight. It's just a very, very um, scary thing for a black girl. But I think somebody's gonna come in here. Oh, I'm gonna go. But that was my time, people. Somebody had pulled up and it was a man. <laughs> no, I'm about to go home, get in the shower, and watch a Tubi movie. <laughs> What's up? Last day of the vlog. Let me just come here and talk to y'all before we even get out of this stuff. I gotta go to the gas station real quick. Use some gas. I gotta go to this place and take this drill kit. I'll probably explain all that stuff later on. I gotta go to um, Walmart to get a couple things for my house. I gotta pick up some more groceries. I gotta give me some, some hygiene stuff, some deodorant, all that type of stuff. Y'all like my hair? I like a kid. My mama used to do my hair like this all the time when I was a kid. She used to put it up in the ponytail. But she ain't, baby hair is one of the things back in the day, so we just have a sleek ass ponytail. Um, my phone did. I got six miles to get to a gas station. Okay, okay, let me just focus on getting there. Okay, we got the gas station. 
The way it was gonna be the next visible appointment to like almost four o'clock and it's just turned three o'clock so i'm like okay now so i'm gonna come back here tomorrow and take my drug test because girl i'm not gonna wait no hour in no lobby when i could be doing stuff so i just scheduled an appointment which is probably what i should do anyway i'm making sure i got detergent this time y'all i think this is detergent let me see five dollars for this lit ass thing Give him a new kind. The chili noodles is gone. I'm about to lose my fucking medulla right now. What do you mean? <gasps> Are y'all serious? No, y'all did not. Why would y'all do that? I'm tired of being a nigga. This is ghetto. Hi, bye bye. Oh, oh my god. I got sauce all over my chin. I just got done cooking. You already that poopy movie in the bag. Shit, I mean, you come from a good family, chick. That's that ghetto shit. shit. But I'm gonna eat. But I guess. You like this shit, really, not. I've been, I've, I've been forgetting to close out the video. I really supposed to do it yesterday. This is the end of the vlog. I love y'all so much. Subscribe and click the bell notification button so you can be notified every time I upload. Links to my social medias will be in the description box. I'm gonna announce the news in the next vlog. Yeah, I'm not gonna take out on this vlog. It'll make more sense next vlog. Denim loves you. Y'all already know the drill. I motherfucker love you. You girl, Ava's out. Bye.